Hi everyone, my name is Rebecca and I have been a Hope and Cope volunteer for over 22 years. My journey with Hope and Cope actually began when I was a patient myself following a diagnosis of breast cancer. I took advantage, so to speak, of all the services that were pertinent to my needs from Hope and Cope, which included uh, social work support as well as the support of several volunteers. I was quickly matched with uh, two lovely women um, who had had breast cancer uh, a couple of years before myself. We were of a similar age and life experience and uh, having their support and, and to speak to them was, was extremely uh, helpful to me in terms of helping with anxiety and, uh, and my fears. These two lovely ladies actually came to visit me uh, shortly after my, my, my surgery, and uh, that was a great source of comfort. Mainly, uh, I have been volunteering as a peer support buddy over the years, but I have also uh, co-facilitated several uh, groups for women who've been newly diagnosed with breast cancer. And that is what I'm currently doing. Actually, I am uh, participating as a co-facilitator in, in one of the groups and hope to look to do more of these groups down the road. And I'm also exploring um, volunteering within the hospital itself. I've, I retired last summer and was looking for um, some uh, activities and where I could contribute some of my own uh, knowledge and uh, skills and Hope and Cope came to me right away and I made the contact. So um, that is where I'm at currently. Uh, volunteering has changed my life in many ways. I've been a volunteer uh, ever since uh, I was in my late teens in various organizations and I'm currently active in several other organizations as well as a, as a volunteer. Hope and Cope is very dear to my heart, as you probably can imagine, given my own personal experience and uh, wanting to give back to, to the community and to other women. And when I think about memorable moments, uh, mostly it's just knowing that I can make a difference in someone's life, <clears throat> talking to them uh, and giving them some support, sharing some of my own experience, being a good listener and being non-judgmental. Um, that for me has been rewarding and um, I feel that I can make a difference in someone's life, uh, even someone as far away as California. So thank you and I look forward to continuing with volunteering at Hope and Cope.